here's an example for Gaussian elimination. We have a system of three equations in three variables, x, y, and z. And in the coefficients, we have two unknowns, a and b. So the first thing to do is write down your augmented matrix. That's just taking all the coefficients and writing them down here. So here we have 1, 2, 3. Here we have 3, 4, a minus 6 times z goes in here as a minus 6 and b plus 8. Now your first move would be to start in the top left corner and make a 1. So we have a 1 here already. So the second move would be to use that 1 to make zeros below. And we do that by adding multiples of that first row onto other rows. So if I want to turn that minus 2 into a 0, I need to add on twice that 1. So I say 2 times row 1, added to row 2. I have to take away 3 times the 1 here to make a 0. So I say minus 3 times row 1 here, add on to row 3. So writing this one down, the first row remains unchanged. For my second row, I take my minus 2 and I add 2 times 1 to get 0. I take my minus 1 and I add 2 times 2. Again, 2 times 2 is plus 4, gives me 3. Here, uh, 3 by 2 is 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12. And again, 4 plus 2 is 6. That's the second row done. Third row, again, this one now is minus 3. So I take minus 3 times each of these onto the third row. So 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus 2 by 3 is minus 6. So 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Then we have a minus 6 minus 3 by 3. So that's a minus 6 minus 9 is a minus 15. And I have b plus 8 minus 3 by 1, which is b plus 5. Next, I want to get a 1 in this position, right here. So from here, the move is to divide this row by 3, or say 1 over 3 times row 2. So that's all I do in this move. The first row is unchanged, the third row is unchanged. 3 becomes a 1, 12 divided by 3 is 4, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now I have 1, 0, 0, 1 here. Next step is to get a 0 here. To do that, I'll add on twice that 1 onto that minus 2. So 2 times row 2 added on to row 3. So minus 2 plus 2 is 0. A minus 15 plus 2 by 4 is 8, is A minus 7. B plus 5 plus 4 is B plus 9. So the elimination stage is now done. So let's look at our last row and see what kinds of solutions we can have. In order to have there be no solution to this, what I need is to have 0 equals something that's not 0. So if this bit on the left here was 0, and this bit here, b plus 9, was not 0, then I'd have no solution. So that's a minus 7 is 0, and b plus 9 is not equal to 0. So I can rearrange the two of these to say that means a must be 7, and b must be not equal to minus 9. So if a is 7, and b is any number other than minus 9, then there's no solution. For a unique solution, all I need is to not have a zero here on the left. So, unique solution if a minus 7 is not zero. And that just means a is not 7. So, as long as a is not equal to 7, there's a unique solution. When do we get the infinite set? Well, first of all, uh, a must be 7, otherwise we'd have a unique solution. And then we had no solution if a was 7 and b was not 9. The unique solution is when a is 7 and b is minus 9. Or to get it from here, 
For an infinite set of solutions, what I need is a row of all zeros all the way along here. So I need 0, 0, a minus 7 is 0, and b plus 9 is 0. So that just means a is 7 and b is minus 9. So that's the three cases. Now let's find the infinite set. So this only exists when a is 7 and b is minus 9. We just work that out. So this is what the augmented matrix looks like there. I have zeros all along here. So it's like I only have two equations really for three variables. So this is the free variable case. So I'll say z is my free variable. So I just say it's equal to t, where t is any real number. Then I go back through my rows and I solve them with, t, with z equal to t. So my second row here, it says that y plus 4 times z is 2. That's the equation. So I write that down, put in t for z here, and solve y is 2 minus 4t. Then go back to the first row. That first row says that x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 1. So here it is. Now in for y, I put my 2 minus 4t here. In for z, I put just t here. And then you solve that equation and you come out with x is 5t minus 3. So your set of solutions is any set of x, y and z where z is t, y is 2 minus 4t and x is 5t minus 3 where t can be any real number. Now let's look at one possible unique solution. So let's say we were asked to find the solution if a was 9 and b was 3. So let's do a quick check first. a is not equal to 7, it's equal to 9. So as long as it's not 7, we have a unique solution. So in this case, we have one, because it's 9, not 7. So let's sub in 9 for a and 3 for b. And we get this augmented matrix. So we just start at the last row and work back. 2z is 12. So z is 6. Back to the second row. y plus 4z is 2. Put in my 6 for z here. And solve and get y is minus 22. Back to row 1. x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 1. There it is. So back in my minus 22 for y. And my 6 for z. And solve for x. And x is 27. So that's my solution.